I greet you in Jesus' precious name and welcome again to the program. We are sitting on the farm. I'm sitting on the drawbar of a stationary trailer and I've got some good news to tell you. We need to be flying high, flying high. Remember, the eagles don't fly where the turkeys fly. The turkeys fly right down and you get flocks of turkeys fly, flying all over the place. You'll never find a flock of eagles. Eagles don't fly, fly in flocks. Eagles fly on their own and they fly very, very high. They exist on those uh, wind currents in the high mountains. Very close to this farm, about one hour and a half west, you'll get the Drakensberg Mountains. Beautiful mountains. I have climbed them myself up the contour paths and it's a majestic place to be. And the higher you go, the quieter it is, and the less noise and interruption there is, and the fewer birds you find until you just find the Lamachaya. He's a big, big eagle, um, and the bearded eagle, they call him. And uh, he's a bird that lives very much on his own. I want to share with you today about not corrupting yourself with the things of this world. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, we know it off by heart. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, not like turkeys. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Now, I'm sharing this message with you, but it applies to me as well. We need to become very close to the Lord in these days, not to become polluted with the things of this world. We've got to be separate. We, we mustn't be like the foolish eagle who continues to push his luck all the time and he's flying lower and lower and lower until he's just flying over the farm and he's checking out for maybe rabbits or whatever he can catch. But he knows he's in the wrong place. He actually knows that. His place is high up in the mountains. And what happens? Eventually, he flies too low. The farmer comes out with his double-barreled shotgun, and he thinks that that eagle is actually a chicken hawk, and the chicken hawk is going to kill his chickens. So when that eagle comes and swoops in one time too many, he shoots the eagle. And the eagle falls to the ground. And the eagle lies there, and as he's dying, he looks up into the high clouds with, a, with an eye of sorrow thinking, I should never have flown so low. I want to say to some of us that are watching this program, maybe you are flying too low. Maybe you are pushing the limits. You're going out with people that you know you shouldn't be going out with because they don't belong to Jesus. They don't talk about things of God. They talk about the things of the world. You're frequenting places where the gospel has not been even heard of. Places where there is absolute chaos and you think that you'll be all right and you'll get away with it. Sir, maybe you're having an affair with a woman that's not your wife. Maybe you are dabbling in finances which you know are not strictly correct, but you think you'll get away with it once more because you got away with it before. Don't do that because you'll get caught, for sure. And the devil will catch you. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Be like the wise eagle that doesn't come right down to earth. He stays up in the high places. Be there where the Holy Spirit is. Keep yourself pure. The Lord will see you through. He who is not for me is against me. He who does not gather with me scatters abroad. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 30. Jesus bless you as you fly high. Goodbye.